Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're making a beautiful card using In The Moment stamp set. We're going to be using this image here with the puppy and something fancy for our sentiments. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. So we're making self-care. You have to sometimes just stop what you're doing and take a moment to enjoy your life. So I think this illustrates it very well with the puppy and some of the sentiments that we're doing. Um, let me go ahead and cut my paper. There are your card measurements. You don't need to write this down. If you go to mariascraftroom.com, you'll see written instructions. Um, the blog post will cover this exact card. So this is four and a quarter, the long ways. This is an eight and a half by 11 piece of garden green by five and a half. And at the five and a half mark, we're going to score, not cut. Okay, this is going to be our card base today. The next layer, we are going to use Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. And we want this at four, whoops, pen blade, four by five and a quarter. Beautiful. Our next layer is going to be two and three quarters by four. Let's see, it should be four here already. It is two and three quarters the long way. And we need another piece that is going to be four by five and a quarter in basic white. So let's go a long way here, five and a quarter by four. And this is going to be an insert since we're using a solid color card base. Um, I need a white piece to go on the inside of the card. All right, so let's put our screen back to normal. Oops. There we go. All right, so let's begin to put this together. I'm going to go corner to corner and just burnish this down. So there's my green card base. This basic white will go on the inside like so. And we will layer this way. Beautiful. Now, Let's go ahead and get our stamping done, and then we'll put the rest of this card together. So I am going to use Garden Green because that is the background color here to put the inside sentiment down. May the good you do come back to you is from something fancy. Beautiful. I'm making this card for a wonderful friend of mine who happens to be a dog groomer. Um, and she, she's grieving. She had a, a horrible loss recently. And we need to remember to take time for ourselves and just breathe, you know, stop and just do whatever it is that makes you relax. I like to knit. I like to craft. Um, Dee Dee loves taking care of dogs. And actually, this is September of 2023. Um, she has puppies that she's trying to find homes for, so reach out to myfavoritegroomer.com and see if she's got a puppy for you. Shout out to Dee Dee. Okay, so let's put this away. So I always put my hands in these things. All right, so there's my Memento Black, and I'm going to stamp this on the top part of this basic white. So pretty. All right, and we're going to use You Matter to So Many, again, from something fancy. And we'll go back to the garden green for this one. Beautiful. All right, that's it for my stamping. I'm going to take a minute to clean my stamps. A little stamping scrub here. I'm going to spray it with some stamp cleaner. You could use water if you wanted to. I just find the stamp cleaner works really well. Just scrub on the wet side and dry on the dry side. Beautiful. I used to use a stamp chamois and it, it works. 
um, but this little day it's like it, it brushes brushes it clean and it dries it for you too and uh, it conditions your stamps to the the spray the, the um, stamp cleaner does all right now let's go ahead and color this I'm gonna leave this out just so you see the beautiful colors that we're using in the background I'm going to use watercolored pencils and these blender pens. These come in a set of two. And blender pens um, erase your, your pencil strokes so it makes it look like marker. Um, I tend to use pencils instead of markers, but you know, if you have markers, use your markers. All right, so let's, let's see. We've got garden green, so let's use garden green for the blanket here at her feet. And you could press hard. I'm going to go light just because I want more of a, a softer look. And let's see. Maybe it will push hard on the coffee cup. Just so you see the difference when you press lightly and when you don't press light hard. Uh, when, you, when you press lightly and when you don't. All right, so that was garden green. Let's do basic gray for the socks. I find coloring very relaxing too. What do you do to relax when you're a little stressed out from your day maybe? Calypso coral. I. I have a feeling this is like a PJ. So this Calypso Coral is kind of a pinky color. So we'll use that for PJ pants. And let's see, I think her, I think her pillows are gonna be in this darker yellow. So darker yellow with this Daffodil Delight will do well for those. I'm going fairly light with the pressure here. All right, and let's get a darker blue. Um, there's my dark blue. Night of Navy for the blanket. And I'm pressing lightly on this part. Sometimes you just have to play with things and see if you like it better dark, um, which means you would press harder or if you want it a little lighter. That's up to you. All right, early espresso. That's gonna be the book cover. And I think we'll make the ears of this dog nice and dark. We'll go lightly on the face. I think we'll leave the rest of the dog white. I kind of like that. We'll give her some dark hair. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and put the pencils away. I made this little box. One of the one of the very first projects I made. You can look at MariasCrafting.com and go back and look at my older videos if you want to see how to make a pencil box. Beautiful. Even made a little lid for it. So pretty. Okay, so now the blender pen. I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper just to make sure my pen tip is clean. And we're just going to blend this color pencil. And just like that, it erases those pencil marks. Isn't that pretty? So it kind of has the look of marker, but um, but it's, it's pencil. All right, let's get this green. So pretty. I love greens. And this is just 
the colored pencil just gives you such a nice soft look. So pretty. All right, let's go ahead and get this darker. This is the same color, I just pressed harder. Isn't that, what a difference when you press lightly and when you press hard on your, it's the same color, same pencil. Oh, garden green. And I just, isn't that so pretty? I love the way how everything coordinates. All right, let's go back, clean this off a little bit. We'll get this blanket. I'm always wrapped up in a blanket when I'm on the couch. I just, I tend to be cold a lot. Um, and I do, I live in Texas, <laughs> it's hot, and I'm always cold. Um, I have been checked, my circulation is fine, but my feet and my hands are always cold. I don't know why. All right. All right, so these markers are double-sided. So we can, if you really want to, you can turn it over and use the other side. And let's get the brown. So pretty. I love these watercolors. It's just, just, I don't know, something so relaxing. Beautiful. And socks and the pants, and then we're done with the coloring. Isn't that so beautiful? And um, it really doesn't take very long. And you get a beautiful card. And that is it for our coloring. Isn't that so pretty? Beautiful colors. All right, another thing you're gonna notice with watercolored pencils is you don't bleed through through the back. If you're using markers, a lot of times you'll see bleed through. You don't see that with the watercolor pencil. Okay, so let's start putting this together. I'm going to put this down with liquid glue on the inside. So before I do that, let me show you. Um, normally I do cards with a white card base, so you have plenty of white space to write on and you get a nice little white border around your edges. But when you use a solid card, um, I guess you could write on this dark color, but I find it easier to, if you put a white base in there, a white card insert here. Um, now you have beautiful white paper to write on. But I do want some advice. Do you think it looks better with the color background or with the white background? What do we think? We'll look again uh, for comparison when we're, when we're completely assembled. All right, so here is our white insert. I'm using liquid glue because if I make a mistake, I can just wiggle my paper into place. Sometimes you need really strong adhesive to just put things down and leave it and it won't move. Liquid glue lets you move a little bit. May the good you do come back to you. And on the card front, we're going to layer this. Um, I don't want to put this down first because I want to put a, a ribbon down Let's put this image down with dimensions. I want an attached bow on my ribbon, and so I need that to wrap around this piece. You'll see in a minute. Dimensionals just make everything pop, I think. So your card are not so flat. So take the little backings off. Check to see, oh, I missed one. There we go. If my little dimensionals are shiny, that means I got all the papers off. 
if you've got a flat one, then you're not done yet. All right, so let's see which way is up on my flowers. And we want to put this not quite centered. I'm going to go a little bit up higher so that the ribbon will go right across here in the middle. And let's go ahead and make that attached bow now before I attach this to this. So I'm going to, this is glittered organdy. And um, if you already cut it, you need roughly 9 inches, 9 to 12 inches for the attached bow that I'm going to make. I'm going to use my bow maker. Uh, my husband made me this. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you could use a comb, a hair comb, or a potato masher. I have another video. I'll link to that. Um, so if you don't have something like this, there are other household tools you can use. I'm using this just for speed today. So I'm going to go around through and through the center so I have two loops. Bring my cut end up and over. Make a loop with my attached end. Go over through the center and pull to the right. If I'm going too fast, go back to the bow making video. I'm going to check the bow front to make sure I like the way it looks. If I'm happy, then I pull it tight. And that's it for my bow maker. And now I have an attached bow. It doesn't come loose. Look at how fluffy that is. And it's going to stay exactly where I put it. Now this will go down that way, but I want to put my bow down first. We're going to use, let's see, I think we need some glue dots. I love using glue dots to put my bow down. That way I know exactly where the bow is going to be and it won't move. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put the knot of the bow right over that glue dot and now that bow is not moving. Isn't that so pretty? And then I want a little tail on each side to wrap around. Perfect. And we're going to wrap around this before I put it down. Let's use another glue dot here on the, on the back side to put the ribbon down, secure it just while we glue it. We will glue this whole piece with glue onto the card base, but the glue dots will just hold this ribbon in place while we're working. Beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? Very nice. And they're very forgiving, so you can move things around if you need to. So pretty. Now we're ready to put this on with regular liquid glue. I say regular glue. This is gra craft glue. My glue is all dirty. Tumbo liquid um, glue. Um, it's acid free, so you want to make sure you're using craft glue. And we'll center this right on the card base. So pretty. It's so, so stunning. I love that. Let's add a little bit of bling. This is pastel adhesive back sequins. I think we'll go with these gold ones. And we're going to call this done. How pretty is that? So let's go ahead and look at that other card just for a comparison. And you tell me in the comments if you prefer the colored card base with a white insert or if you prefer the white card base that you don't need an insert at all on the inside. What do you think is better? All right. So this is our card for today. Um, do check out Didi at myfavoritegroomer.com. Um, she has puppies that she's trying to find homes for. If you're, this is October of 2023, so if you're still in 2023, contact her for puppies. Otherwise, she's available for aggressive dog grooming. The kind of dogs that other groomers won't handle, 
she will take care of you. Um, this card's for you, Didi. Isn't that so pretty? I love the bows. So I do have another video for how to make bows. I'll post that somewhere either in the video description or I'll try to link it here at the top of the video screen. And please like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. I hope you like my videos. Thanks for watching.